What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's a Carver Vanguard Premium Mark Watch Mini. In this video, we will only talk about cards in premium format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard Mark Watch, and every Wednesday is going to be a premium Mark Watch. And today's premium Mark Watch is going to be spicy. Every card that we're going to go over today is a hot cake. These cards are selling. If you guys don't know, Boost Road finally announced their ban list last week. Well, I think like two weeks ago, technically. And the floodgates opened. Everyone started pouring their money into, into TCGPal.com. Everyone started doing their own buyouts, which I don't agree with. And there's so many cards that are just bought off the market. If you guys have any premium cards, I would highly recommend to look at the prices and maybe see if you can flip them online for a good double the profits or even triple the profits because there's just so many buyouts for so many different clans. It's not just one certain clan. There's buyouts, Pale Moon, Dark Regulars, Royal Paladins, Narakami, the works like almost there's buyouts everywhere. Every clan gets a buyout. You get a buyout. You get a buyout. You get a buyout. Every clan has a buyout. Probably not Token Rambu because it's Token Rambu. But anyways, guys, today's Mark Watch is going to be extremely spicy. I highly recommend you guys to watch the whole video. And let's see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, the first card that I want to talk about is a Domino 1 Guild Arise. Now, this card, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't even remember. If you guys do remember this card, you probably remember it as a grade three. This card used to be a grade four stride. It was one of the first broken strides for dark regulars. This card basically had the guard restriction ability and it was going for cheap. It was going for dollars, basically. The triple R's and the reprinted version. So the reprinted versions are now going for $10. After that, it's a $14 card. The market price is $5.08 with only three listings. That's the reprint. Now the original ones, only two listings. Market price is 462, one for 15, well, both of them for 15 bucks. So the the regular versions, Guild Arrays, the strides, one for 10 bucks, after that it's a $15 card. As for the SPs, um, the, SP, the, the reprinted SP version is going for 10 bucks, while the original ones are going for $9, which kind of makes no sense. So if you guys want to buy Guild Arrays, Highly recommend to buy the SPs. SPs, you guys already know, SPs either gain more value or hold their value in the long run. Uh, these, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure they will go down in value, in my opinion. Next, let's talk about the other broken Dark Regular stride. So if you guys don't know, Boost Road banned one of the best strides for Dark Regulars, and now every Dark Regular player is looking for the best new stride. And one who hunts souls, Blomps, is the best stride for Dark Regulars. It's a quad drive, and I believe it also has guard restriction. Uh, this card, SP is going for basically 18 to 20 bucks. Market price is $23, but we want to look at the triple R's. The triple R's, there's only seven listings. Only seven. And market price is $5 change, but currently the cheapest listing is going for $10. Again, $10 is double the price at the moment because, again, guys, the best stride for Dark Regulars just got banned. So everyone is now looking for the new best Dark Regular stride. And this card is it. One who hunts, one who hunts souls belong. This card was going for barely $5, literally a month ago. And now it's a $10 card. Um, another broken card. Well, I don't know if it's broken, to be honest. I never played it. I'm assuming it's broken because this card basically, <laughs> it came out of nowhere. All right, Stun vs. Dragon, the stride for Narakamis from Premium Collection 2020. Now, the Triple R's, market price was 11, well, basically 12 bucks, but now they're going for 15 bucks. After that, it's an $18 card with only six listings. <laughs> now, the Super Rares, there's only three listings. Market price, by the way, is $12.59, but the cheapest listing is $20. After that, $22, and then after that, it's a $30 card. Where are these buyouts coming from? Uh, yes, Nurakami, I mean, they are playable, especially now since premium is more healthy. Premium basically got rid of all the loop decks and the floodgates open where now almost every clan in premium has a chance to be meta. So that's why everyone's buying, everyone's doing their own buyouts. Everyone's buying out broken strides, broken regards or broken grade threes. 
Uh, some of these buyouts I do not agree with, but it's whatever. Uh, again, Stun vs. Dragon, $15. <laughs> One of the biggest buyouts in the past week. So since Boost Road announced you can only play one Purple Trapezes, oh, sorry. you can either play or Purple Trapezes, uh, Flying Periton, or Jumping Jill. So the next broken card, which every Pale Moon deck should start playing in premium, is Cutie Paratrooper, the grade one rare, which is now going for $8. <laughs> Market price, by the way, is $2.09. Only three listings, one for eight bucks, after that's a $10 card, and they've been selling, guys. Before I say who's gonna buy it, they've been selling for six to seven to eight dollars in the past few days. So people are definitely buying them out. People are picking them up because again, since Bush, since Bush Road gave us that choice restriction, you, you might need to start playing other, other broken Pale Moon cards and Cutie Paratrooper is one of them. Now this card, it's not really a crazy buyout, but it is slowly leaving the market and a lot of people are, are sleeping on this card. Silver Thorn Assistant Dixie, this critical trigger is going for two bucks and eventually it will become a $3 card with only eight listings. Uh, uh, like four listings, it's a two dollar card. After that, it's a three dollar card. So, if you guys actually have this, this critical trigger for silver thorns, definitely do not sell it for less than two bucks. Try to get two dollars, and if you can, try to get three dollars each. Now, let's talk about one of the other biggest buyouts for Gear Chronicles Interdimensional Dragon History Build Dragon. This card came out in, in uh, Premium Collection 2019, and they are selling like hot cakes. Now the triple R's only two listings, both of them basically for $18. Market price is eight is eleven dollars and fifty seven cents. As for the hot stamps, there's one for thirteen bucks and change. After that, it's a fourteen well, basically fifteen dollar card. Market price is nine sixty three. So in my opinion, if you need history build dragon, highly recommend to pick up the, the hot stamps. Again, guys, you already know my opinion on high rarity cards. High rarity cards either gain more value or retain their value in the long run. Uh, again, Gear Chronicle cards are selling, especially, well, not yet. Now, this card is a sleeper. I know a lot of you guys are not going to agree, but Iron Heart Assassin, this grade one is selling very well. Again, another hot cakes. So at the moment, market price is $242 and they've been selling for three to two bucks each. Uh, 18 listings, again, basically it's a $3 card. After that, it's a $4 card. In my opinion, if you guys can hold on to these, I feel like this card will become a, a $5 card very soon. Again, this card has been selling very well. It's been selling very rapidly. I sold at least 20 copies of him in the past few days. So in my opinion, if you guys have Iron Heart Assassins, I would not, I would definitely not get rid of them for less than four bucks. If you can try to push for $4 each and maybe who knows, it actually might become a $5 card. Next, this card is a sleeper which no one notices by the way crescent moon juggler even i'm i'm completely sold out so i sold this mistakenly for a dollar each and the last listing sold for five dollars each mark price is a dollar and eight cents but it is completely bought off the market guys you can't get anymore like i said guys everyone has been buying them for dollars dollars and change and two bucks each if you guys don't know, I, I believe last Monday or, or Sunday or Saturday, TCG player did do a 15% bonus bucks back. Um, I hope a lot of you guys took advantage of that. Me personally, I did not take advantage of it. Me, honestly, I don't like buying. Well, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not that I don't like TCG player. I like TCG player, but I would probably never buy from TCG player because they charge you tax per buyer that you buy from so me personally i never really do buyouts on tcg player unless i know for a fact i can at least make double the profits but so for the past few days i didn't do any buyouts i didn't do any of these buyouts by the way me i don't like i don't like doing buyouts i just like buying cards locally anyways crescent moon juggler they're completely bought the market this grade two what it does um Generation Break 1, Cannon Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on Rare or Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Harry in his card name, you may pay the cost. If you do Soul Charge 1, choose up to one card from your soul and call it to Rare or Circle. That unit and this unit gets, gets a plus 2k until the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, put that unit called uh, called of this ability into your soul. So basically, it's just, it's just a free uh, superior call from, from the soul. Um, I think it's decent. I think, it's, I mean, 
I definitely do see future combos with this card because again, it's just calling out cards from the soul. So Crescent Moon Juggler, maybe potentially this grade two double R might be a $5 card. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Um, next, let's talk about these stride critical triggers. Now I said it in the beginning when this set first came out that these stride critical triggers, even though they're going for cheap, eventually they will go up. They will be valued. They will be three to four to five dollar cards because these stride critical triggers, they're going to be staples for a while and they are going up in value. Um, the biggest example is a stride critical trigger for Genesis. It used to be quarters. Marketplace is three three thousand three thousand twelve cents, but they've been selling for three to five bucks each. Again, guys, like I said in, in the beginning, these critical trigger strides they will go up eventually and they will be value. Um, so if you guys actually have the cr the critical trigger for Genesis, in my opinion, I would only sell it for five bucks. It's only going to go up especially because Genesis is also selling like hot cakes. Ultimate regalia of the almighty Minerva. This stride ooh, is so spicy. It's now a $25 card. Market price is $16.55. But again, guys, only five listings, only five, three of them for 25 bucks. Atra, it's a 30 dollar card. Now, I highly doubt you it will become a $30 dollar card, but they've been selling like hot cakes i know i keep saying it. it's my favorite word it's been selling very well in the past few days if you guys have the minerva strides get rid of them while i still can for 25 dollars each um next let's talk about amon now i know this isn't really a big huge buyout but i wanted to bring this up if you guys have this grade 3 legion for legion for amon it's currently going for five bucks. In my opinion, it will go up in value. It will become an eight to ten dollar card. Only four listings, three of them for five bucks. After that, it's an eight dollar card. Market price is two sixty two, but they've been going up in value and they've been selling very well. Three to four to five bucks each. Now, I'm just putting this inf this information out there, but me and a friend and one of my teammates, we are working on getting a legion, um, a legion format going. In the vanguard community um if you guys want to play it start picking up your legions now and if you guys need certain legions like this amon amon grade three i'll probably pick it up while i still can for five bucks each uh, again that's just some insider insider information if you guys want to hear more about that hear more about um about new jersey new york having a legion a legion format tournament just comment down below and say legion now let's talk about Another hot cake, <laughs> Drag Frenter Dagada. Again, I'm terrible with names. This grade two rare has always been selling for a dollar and or a dollar fifty each, and now they're selling for eight dollars each. All right, first, oh, my bad. First, let me turn off my phone because I forgot to turn to turn on the silent. It's my bad. Okay, my fault. My fault. Drag Frenter Dagada. Is going for eight dollars. Market price is two fifty four. Two fifty four. We're jumping from two dollars, two dollars to eight dollars. Only four listings, by the way. Two of them for eight bucks. After that, it's a nine dollar card, and then eventually, apparently, it's going to be a ten dollar card. Um, again, before you say who's going to buy for eight to ten dollars, guys, they've been selling for nine bucks, ten dollars, twelve dollars. Surprisingly, someone sold it for, for fifty cents each, which you got robbed. Uh, someone sold it for a dollar twenty-five. You got robbed. Like this grade two is selling like hot cakes. If you guys have this grade two rare, put them on the market now for eight bucks each. They are still selling. I literally just sold a playset this morning for nine bucks each, and they are just it's, again hot cakes, hot cakes. Now let's talk about Lord. Main mainly drag abyss lord. Now this stride has always been slowly leaving the market, but now they're actually really up in the market. Uh, the SPs we're not we're really not gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the strides. All right, so the revival collection stride only five listings, two of them for twelve bucks. After that, it's a fourteen dollar card. Market price is nine dollars and ninety cents. As for the original triple R's, they're going for ten dollars. Market price is eight twenty six and only three listings. So both both versions of Dragabus Lords, they are definitely out of the market and they're both about to leave the market. Um, another amazing buyout 
Starling Witch Mummo. If you guys don't know what this card does, basically it's a restanding Vanguard for OTTs, and it also gives plus 10k to the front board depending on how many cards that you discard. So her ability is on attack, discard up to three cards. Depending on how many cards you discard, your front row gets plus 10k for each one. And if you discard three cards, this card can restand with minus draw check two. So it's a great restanding Vanguard that gives power to the front board. And Dave, they're almost gone. They're almost bought off the market. So the triple R's only six list things, a bunch of them for 15 bucks and change. Market price is $5.72. This is literally triple the price triple the price but if you guys if you guys are going to pick up mummos highly recommend to pick up the srs the srs are going for 12 bucks and you guys already know my opinions on, on higher rated cards higher rated cards either retain their value or gain more value in the long run market price by the way is nine dollars and change so again still starling witch mummos if you guys have them they are triple the price is it worth 15 bucks no not really but another huge buyout steam maiden melum Melum, both versions not just one of them both versions the original one and the reprinted version in revival collection are both bought off the market you can't get them anymore i sold my last my last few copies for 15 bucks each and before you say who's gonna buy them for 15 or 15 bucks each people actually bought them for 20 dollars 19 20 dollars and 12 dollars like people actually spent money on one copy of melums melums is one of the biggest hotcakes of this week. It is just value town. If you guys have melums, try to put them on the market for $20 and let's see if you guys can actually sell for 20 bucks. If you do sell for 20, 20 bucks, please leave it in the comment section down below. I want to hear about it. Like it's, it's crazy. Uh, another huge buyout, which a lot of people are not talking about. Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon, Dragonic Overlord, The Purge. Yes, Mama John, this is for you. The Purge bought off the market. The SGRs, you can't get them anymore. They bought off the market. I sold my last copy for 30 bucks. Market price for the SGRs is $22 and change. As for the original GRs, only three listings. One, two, well, one for 39 bucks. After that, it's a $40 card. Market price is $20. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so me personally, I don't really understand why this card, why this stride is getting bought off the market. Me, I'm not too familiar with the Purge. I'm not too familiar with Kagro. I'm not that familiar with Draconic Overlord. So if you guys are a Kagro expert, please comment down below. Let me know why is the Purge getting bought off the market now? Why is it suddenly going up in the market? Me, I wish I knew more information, but sadly I don't. Uh, the last, the last listing that sold for the SGRs, one for fifty dollars. <laughs> fifty dollars come on guys this is oh my god like these buyouts are crazy now another card from clan section that's slowly going up in value which you guys should pay attention to is mutant gentleman high class moth this great one from uh clan selection volume one do not sleep on it it will become a three dollar card only nine listings by the way only nine and they've been selling for two bucks each and then two bucks and change but eventually it will become a three dollar card so if, if you guys have this grade one i would not sell for a dollar i would not sell for two bucks try to only get rid of them for three dollars and maybe potentially it might become a four dollar card very soon uh, another broken card that's up in value nurse of the broken heart this common grade two is now going for six dollars market price is 272 and there's only four listings one for six bucks i thought it's a ten dollar card <laughs> again before you say who's gonna buy it my guy people actually bought them for 12 bucks for five bucks for four bucks like people have been like i said since bushrod made that premium ban list the floodgates opened everyone just started buying out cards buying out cards that they need for certain decks or people just start buying out broken cards which they feel like it will go up in value now some of these buyouts i don't agree with others i do others i don't but who knows if you guys agree with, with these buyouts please leave a comment down below if any of these buyouts you don't agree with leave it in the comment section down below i would love to talk about it because honestly these buyouts are insane and one of the biggest buyouts is coming from premium collection sets so for example premium collection 2020 the biggest buyout is Cl crystal luster dragon the srs are going for 40 bucks only four listings market price is 24 dollars as for the triple r's only four listings market price is 23 dollars and change and there's only and the cheapest listing is going for 30 
one dollars <laughs> this set is just so profitable uh gym glass 14 bucks the srs 18 dollars that's that's just insane this the stride critical trigger for link jokers seven dollars <laughs> Oh my god, someone actually bought it for 10 bucks each for a playset. Come on. If I would, uh, I should have bought more cases of, of this set. This set is just, is just so profitable right now. Um, the Critical Trigger for Shadow Paladin, $7. Uh, the Strider for Grand Blue, Bad Bounties, only three listings, eight bucks each. Look at that. But the SRs are going for eight dollars as well, and there's 12 listings. Um, let's see what else we can find. Da, 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 da. Well, I think those are pretty much the biggest buyouts from Premium Collection 20, 2020. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, actually, no. The Critical Trigger for Kagros, Dragon Dancer, Pal uh, Paloma, $4. Another huge buyout which a lot of people took pictures of and put it on Facebook. And personally, I did not notice this until I saw that post. Dancing Prince of, uh, Princess of the Night Sky. If you guys don't know what this card does, this card, all it does is on place, counter bus one, on place Vanguard Rigard, counter bus one, search out for a great two or less in, from your deck and put into your soul, then shuffle. And there's currently only two listings. One of them is me for 14 bucks, moderately played. And then after that, $420, $420. <laughs> now, of course, this is just a meme. Come on, guys. It's a meme. Basically, whenever I see a price like this, it's a hook. It's a hook for people to look into this, into the stores, um, a store sales, to see what else they have. What 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 else do they have for sale? Um, they've been selling for eight to fifteen bucks each. Uh, my this was my sale. I sold the place for for fifteen bucks each. So again, they've been selling for fifteen bucks. If you guys have this grade two rare, if you have it near mint, easy twenty dollars. But lightly played or moderately played. 15 bucks each again this number it's it's kind of a joke but it's also a hook it's a hook for this store to get people to look at a store chaos breaker clothes huge shout out to matt matt thank you so much for giving me this information chaos breaker clothes is about to become a 27 dollar card only 10 listings one for 23 bucks after that to 27 dollar card market price is 20 dollars and change so it's about to become a 27 dollar card it's been slowly slowly moving up in the market because link jokers are definitely getting more support while star radios are getting more support <laughs> another card thanks to matt universe ace busted this stride for nova crapless from premium collection 2019 the hot stands are going for 14 bucks and change market price by the way is four. 60 65 as for the triple r's they're going for eight dollars after that it's a 14 dollar card market price is 442 only four listings so both versions are basically almost bought off the market and both versions are up in value the triple r's eight dollars the hot stamps 14 dollars again this stride it's it's good it's it's good for for no grapplers but is it worth eight dollars comment down below let me know what you guys think and the last card that I want to talk about, again, thank you, Matt. Scarlet Witch Coco, this grade three. <laughs> $8. Only three listings, by the way. All three of them for eight bucks each. Market price is $2.09. And this buyout definitely did happen in the past past few days. They've been selling for four bucks, a dollar, two bucks each, and then eight dollars each. If you guys have the V error Scarlet Witch Cocos, $8. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that is today's market watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard market watch, and every Wednesday is going to be a premium market watch. And today's market watch was so spicy because there's just so many buyouts, so little time. And I do apologize if this video is going for more than 20 minutes long, but there's just so many buyouts it's crazy so many cars that we didn't even that we didn't even realize got bought off the market again crescent moon juggler this great two which used to be penny socks and now it might go for five bucks each like it, it's crazy right now um th this rare grade two for lure drag fencer dogda eight dollars <laughs> like you can't make this stuff up and i'm afraid to see next week's market watch next week market watch 
I'm pretty sure I will find more cards being bought off the market, or who knows, maybe the market might calm down, maybe cards might, might start going down in price. But keep in mind guys, we're currently in October, next month is going to be November. In November, there's going to be a lot more buyouts, because in November, people are getting ready for Christmas and people are going, are going, to, are going to be spending a lot of money. And I'm pretty sure next month, TCG Player will also do another bonus bucks back. So, I think... For the, rest of, for the rest of this month, it's going to be like a, above a little bit above normal, but then in November, that's when we're going to start seeing even more crazy buyouts. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for tomorrow's market watch, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are being safe, and hope to see you guys always next time. Deuces. <laughs>